What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Oh my freaking goodness, Jesus Christ. At WrestleMania Access right now, guys, Mattel has been showing off. They have a booth right now set up, and they are showing off tons and tons of new WWE Elites, Battle Packs, Exclusives, some play sets, man. We gotta, we gotta just dive right into this thing, man. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, first up we have this brand new Ultimate Deletion Epic Moments with Bray Wyatt, Matt Hardy, and the dilapidated boat, the mower of lawns, we get Va Vanguard 1. I mean, this is such an incredible set, guys. Look at the lawnmower. Look at the epic Matt Hardy figure and head scan we got going on. Tons of accessories with this thing. I cannot wait for this. I think this is such a unique set. I, I love this so very much. Maybe we can get some different crazy matches going down at the Hardy compound and stuff like that with this play set. You know, the, the possibilities are endless, but I thought this was so cool that we're getting this. I remember doing an upload of the proto images of this way back when they showed it to us, but now we're actually getting to see the final, you know, pr uh, product images of it and seeing it in the flesh looks incredible. Going with some rapid fire, guys. Here we have Bobby Lashley, a brand new elite. Coming up, we're going to have a ton of different new elites coming up, guys. So just be ready. We have Elite Series 68 Bobby Lashley with a great head scan and interchangeable hands. We are getting a ricochet. Yes, sir. That figure looks great. Obviously, it'll look a lot better once we see the final images of it. But here is the prototype, and it looks incredible. Can't wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. We have a brand new AJ Styles elite, and I think this is going to be the top talents figure, as you see there in the lime green and black. I think this will be the new top talents AJ Styles with the head scan and all. We also have Elite 52 Seth Rollins re-released as a top talents figure is what I'm guessing but they did finally add the belt and I guess they're giving us a older head scan for that. We're also getting a Mustafa Ali which looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait for this. I feel like we've been waiting on this one forever but it looks great here in the prototype images. It does look very short though. We have a Finn Balor in the Extreme Rules attire where he took on Trash Corbin in the silver and black. Really happy for this figure, even though I already have a custom of it. Still looking forward to picking this figure up. I think that's the top talents as well. We have a brand new Elite Series Drew McIntyre, which looks like the same figure, just different looking head. Maybe this is supposed to be a main roster Drew McIntyre compared to the NXT Elite. We have a new Shield Seth Rollins with this vest over there. I think this is supposed to be from Crown Jewel or one of those, uh, or the, the Super Showdown in Australia, I think is what this is from. We have a 0607 Jeff Hardy Elite with a newly sculpted head scan. I love this so much. Cannot wait to get this. I can't wait to see what this looks like, what attire they go with for him. We have, I think this is supposed to be Bruno San Martino. I could be wrong. I don't know who this is. If somebody wants to let me know down in the comments section below, I would really appreciate that. But it does kind of look like Bruno. I could be wrong, though, since we've already had him. Then we have a new Elite Alicia Fox, which I don't really care for. But we haven't had an Alicia Fox Elite ever, I don't think. So that's pretty cool to see. We also have a Johnny Gargano, a Johnny Wrestling. It looks like they're going to be using the smaller torso, but the head scan does look better. Can't wait to see what the true effects looks like when this one is all through. And then we have a new EC3 Elite. I think these are supposed to be NXT figures. I'm not exactly sure. There was no info given, I don't think. But EC3's head scan looks incredible, and this torso actually fits him. So that's good. And then we have a Adam Cole, baby, with the screaming head scan and the Adam Cole signature hand. So how cool is that? We're going to be getting three NXT guys in these elites. We have a new John Cena head scan on the old Elite 54 body. But that head scan looks just like an updated John Cena, so that's really cool to see. I can't wait to get this and see what attire he rocks. Then we have an old school Big Show from the Attitude Era. Love this head scan. That grimacing head scan looks fantastic. Can't wait to pick this up. I love the shirtless look. I love the head scan. Next up, we're going to be rapid firing some basics like we just did the Elite. Starting off, we have this Ruby Riot, which looks great. It's different from her NXT figure. It's actually longer haired, so it's more of a main roster look for Ruby. We have a Tony Nese basic. Very happy to see this. I think this looks just like Tony Nese, and we're also getting a Chase variant version, which will, you will see in the next image, which is behind Ultimate Warrior there in the orange, and I don't think anybody really cares for this Ultimate Warrior, guys. We've gotten so many Ultimate Warrior figures with this head scan, and I think we even gotten an Elite with this attire. I could be wrong about that, but it's pretty cool to see. We get a live event Finn Balor basic, which I think looks great. You know, I wish it was Elite. But, you know, I'll take any Finn Balor. I wish we got a new bearded head scan or something. Still waiting on that. We have a new Elias Basic in the more brownish army pants looking color. Same head scan. Nothing different really with this Elias. We've seen multiple figures with this exact look. We have a new Bret Hart. And this is pretty much a re-release of a Bret Hart that we have gotten in the past. Same head scan. I used that head scan for my custom George Washington figure. So, I know that this is an older head scan. We have a new Jeff Hardy, which I really like. I think I'll grab this just to use the face painted head for a different elite look. You know, swap this onto a different elite that we get of Jeff will be a really cool fix up. 
We have a new Miz figure, which looks great. I love the head scan on this. I love the attire too, but it is a basic, so there's really no use for it outside of the head scan, but it is a cool looking basic. We have the same exact thing, but it's the Chase variant. It's a, still a cool head scan. It pretty much looks like the Elite 37 Miz, but with a true effects, you know, layer added on top of the face template. We have a Razor Ramon basic. Same head scan that we've seen from Razor in the past. This is his, you know, Defining Moments head scan. So that's a really old figure, man. I think that came out in like 2015. So this is a really old head scan. We have a SummerSlam AJ Styles basic. Really cool looking figure. It's the older head scan though. So I don't know why really we're getting this. I wish they would have put the Elite 66 head on there. I think that would have been better. We got some battle packs. We have Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. I really like the look of these, even though, you know, they are battle packs. I still like the way these women look with the full gear up to the neck. Looks it looks pretty cool. We get the the bar and it's not the gray and you know purple attire which i would like to see but it is the bar it's kind of cool that we're getting a head scan uh, I mean a battle pack of them even though it's not a different head scan. We have a Wrestlemania 20 battle pack of Goldberg and Stone Cold Steve Austin from that match or the build up to that match um, which is kind of cool that we're getting these flashback battle packs. I wish we would get more of those. We have The Miz and Braun Strowman from last year from around Survivor Series. That's pretty cool even though it's the same head scans. Again, not much difference here. We have a throwback 2003 Triple H battle pack with Goldberg. Really cool that we're getting so many Goldbergs but why aren't we getting new head scans? man like it's the same figures give us some head scans we have a sarah logan figure which is cool to see maybe we can complete our riot squad finally with Liv morgan coming out and ruby riot already here we can put her with our riot squad and finally complete that next up we have the build a figure gorilla monsoon figure which is pretty cool love that suit and glasses i think this is going to be the new walmart exclusive figure if i'm if i'm not mistaken we have a new elite sonya deville which is kind of crazy i don't know if this is going to be nxt or if this is going to be main series but it is an elite sonya deville i'm liking the look of that we have Liv Morgan here, so not only do we have Sarah Logan, but we have Liv Morgan, and it looks like there, I don't have images just yet of that Miz, but that looks like a new Miz Elite in the WrestleMania 34 attire there. And then lastly, we have this new Tommaso Ciampa Elite, and I think this is Elite Series 69 with the green crutch. It looks like his army pants will be removable, so that's pretty cool. I like the head scan. But I absolutely hate that they went with this smaller body, man. Why are they giving us the smaller body? Have you seen Tommaso Ciampa? Ridiculous, man. You got to torso swap it with an Elite 23 Cesaro or an Elite 33 Cesaro, and this thing will look a lot better. But I think that does it for all of the new images. I'm not sure. If you guys would like to go back and look at some stuff, be sure to go back and pause it, and you guys will you know, see that. Um, I'm trying to get as many images as possible. I'm looking around um, on Ringside's Instagram to make sure they don't post any more images, but... But um, I think this is it for now. Again, if you wanted to take a look at anything, guys, you can go over or pause this video on the image that you would like to see for longer. These figures look great, man. I'm, I'm really loving the Jeff Hardy, the Bobby Lashley, Mustafa Ali, Ricochet. I hate that we don't have final paints just yet. And they didn't upload any closer images of that WrestleMania 34 Miz. So I'm kind of disappointed in that with the red and gold attire. I really like that attire. Um... I think the images got blanked out when they were uploading it or something. They had like an upload error or something, but that pretty much does it for the new images, guys. If they upload more, you guys know that I will be posting it up to you guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I love all of these brand new figures that we're getting besides the basics. Those are kind of trash. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.